We're here at the 31st running of the Good Life Fitness Victoria Marathon with one of the people who's, who's very likely to cross the finish line first, James Landers. James, it's so cool to see you in Victoria. How did you get here? Oh, thanks so much. Um, you know what? It's been a long trek back from days when I used to live in Michigan, but uh, I spent a couple years in California through chiropractic school and now just moved up here to, um, to start working and, you know, just... Uh, maybe restart my running career, but even just start helping people with their running through chiropractic. And um, it was just kind of an answer to a prayer and where to go. And I just got a phone call one day and this was it. Well, it's a very interesting combination. And uh, you mentioned kind of restarting your career, but I'm not sure you really ever stopped. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, I've run in the Olympic trials, which has been just, it's just a great event. And I've won a, a marathon here and a couple half marathons down in, um, down in the Los Angeles area. but. Um, you know, earlier in the year, though, I actually did kind of hang things up. I actually kind of gave up competitive running. I was about to forfeit my sponsorship with Brooks, and and um, once I moved here, actually everything changed, and thankfully they've been great to me ever since and th through the whole process, and I just felt like this tug in my heart. It's like, it's time to go again. So. <laughs> Well, there's a great running community here, and that might have had something to do with that inspiration. Definitely, definitely. One of my um, ex-college roommates and teammates, Todd Howard, who is um, uh, president of Pacific Rim College, he was the one who actually called me a couple years ago and saying, hey, we need a chiropractor. But he's also, again, he still runs. He's in the race as well. So actually it'll be the first time we get to run against each other. And it's, <laughs> oh, gosh, it's got to be close to 10 years. Well, you, you did spend a couple of pretty dramatic years in Michigan where uh, you were part of the Brooks Hansen's team and you were uh, one of the, I think Hansen's had the top 10, 10 of the top 20 in the Boston Marathon and you were one of them. Yeah, actually it was, uh, it was a pretty amazing time up there. I got to say um, the program was one of those that allowed an extension of my college running years and just an introduction to um, elite level athletics and um, I gotta, I'm got i very thankful for that and especially Brooks for just even once I transitioned out of there and moved out to California they've been with me every step of the way so it's definitely some great experiences across the board. Well your name's on the um, um, course record list of quite a few races around Michigan and one of them that comes to mind I don't know if it's a course record is the uh, Dexter and Arbor run you remember that one? Oh, I was just reflecting on it a little while ago actually <laughs> um, I just set a record up here at Land's End um, a month ago I guess it was a 15 year record that was still standing but um, yeah actually um, Jim Finlayson who's running the half marathon here he um, he ran I think a year out in Ann Arbor for the University of Michigan so him and I were just chatting about that race, but yeah, that, that one definitely brings back, I don't know if they're good memories, but they're memories. <laughs> That's a while ago. Well, tell us a little bit about the course. I imagine you've checked it out here. You know, I honestly haven't. I, um, once or twice a week, I do a, a morning run loop that actually runs around the finish area and a little up Dallas Road, but for the most part, I haven't really checked out the rest, but all I know is it's undulating, it's never flat, it's never super hilly either, it's never downhill, it's never horribly uphill. So. To be honest, that says nothing in terms of changing my training, so it's never really concerned me. I'm, I'm somebody who trains, and I train alone because I love, I love just being out there with God and just Him guiding me and just fueling me every step of the way, and, and I feel like that's the same way with the marathon. It doesn't matter what comes in front of me. I'm, I'm there to do whatever His will is. Well, it sounds like you've got all the pieces in place. Good luck tomorrow. I mean, Sunday. Thank you so much. You're welcome.